to me, it begins with being human. Because this moral injury thing, this is at the very center of human life. Uh, some of my colleagues in, uh, in uh, theology uh, have published this amazing uh, volume called Moral Injury in Sacred Texts. And there's one chapter for each sacred text of the world, you know, the Bible, the Quran, uh, all of them, and showing how moral injury and its consequences and its causes are like, these are the stories that we've been telling ourselves forever, because this is what life is about. So empathic, just experiencing a person, you know, as another person and say, oh my God, if I had just lived through what you lived through, yeah, here's an example. And this breaks my heart to even think about it. But I was consulted uh, by a psychologist a year or two ago to consult with a family they were working with, a couple who uh, had had their infant daughter uh, attacked by the family dog. And the dog uh, chomped down on the baby's head and brain damage and it's still not clear how severe the disability will be for the baby. Um, so this happened at home with dad in the next room fixing a meal or something. And the first thing he heard was this scream and growl. And he went out there and pulled the dog's jaws off of his child. Um, so I am consulted and I sit and speak with this couple and guess what their individual responses to this traumatic experience were very different because he was home he failed she didn't fail he failed and it doesn't matter that there may be nothing he could have done to prevent that from happening he will always until his death will feel responsible for that because that's how we're wired. Social institutions are not capable of moral emotion. That's why we have to feel them for our institutions because they corporations don't feel shame or guilt. They don't feel anger. Um, so we have to feel that for them. So to me, that's like helping this person begins with setting aside whatever kind of, you know, theoretical understanding you might have of that. And just as a human, if that had happened to me, oh my God. It's like nothing else matters until you can sit with that, right? That's crazy. And, and but the, the clinicians were, they were actually criticizing him for not doing his homework and, and, you know, not uh, seeming to uh, recover and improve as fast as his wife was. And, and you know, and that's adding, adding insult to injury, literally, literally. And we do it all the time, you know. It's heartbreaking.